Today I'm going to talk about how to use your brand colors in Canva Pro. So you're going to go over to account settings. So up from up here, you're going to go to account settings and that will open up this account info area. And from here, you'll be able to click on your brand. When you click on your brand, it opens up your brand kit. So from there, you can also have additional templates like for your pin, your pin designs, your graphics, maybe buttons on your site that you now in this area, we can set up our, our color palettes. We can set our logos and we can set all of the fonts for our brands and then we can also upload fonts if we need those so i have my fonts set for my brands these are the fonts for the smart creative social brand but i tend to use them for smart fun diy as well so you can see here that i have the fonts set up i have some fonts i've uploaded and then i have two color palettes set up one for each brand but i also do courses and each of those has their own color palette so i'm going to show you how to set up a color palette using Canva for whether it's a brand or a course, or maybe it's a series on your blog and you want to use those colors consistently. If you set this up in Canva, it's going to be so easy to create the graphics and make sure that all the colors work. So here's how you do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and name my, I'm going to go ahead and name my template right now. So smart. I'm going to go ahead and name my color palette. I've named it smart pin pro. And then the first thing I want to do is choose a color. Now Canva is going to put a color. This is not the right color at all. Um, and if you know the hex codes for your brand or for the color palette, then it'll be a lot easier to put those in here. If you don't know your hex codes, then um, it might be a little bit more challenging to do this, but you could kind of drag this around until you find colors that you like. And then another way to find out the hex codes is you can actually look them up online. So I can link to a tool to do that down in the video description if you're interested in trying to find those hex codes. So the next color for this course is FFC3B. And I'm just gonna continue adding these on. Now I have my four different color palettes that I use regularly for the different areas in my business. So what does this look like actually on Canva? So let's go back to all your designs and I'm going to open up this pin image. I'm just going to go ahead and get a rectangle and put that in here. Now that I have this here, I want to make it a color that matches my brand. So this is for smart fun DIY. So I probably want to choose one of these colors if possible. Sometimes they're not necessarily going to look good with the subject matter. So I've got that there and now I can choose some text. And again, the text that I set for my brand is here. So I can just pull one of those over for a heading and I want to change these colors. So I'm going to go over here to my brand kit. I have smart creative socials colors here. I have black and white at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and use black and white for that part. But here I'm going to see if that looks okay. Sometimes the red doesn't look so good. So you have to keep massaging it. And sometimes you just decide that, you know, you might have to change some of these colors because they're not working. Even though these match my brand colors, I don't feel like it looks the best with this whole dealio here. So I might change this to black or something else that stands out more in the and then maybe I can change some of the text here to my brand colors. So that's how you can set your color palettes in Canva Pro. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, I'd love it if you hit that share button or tag a friend down in the comments if you are watching this over on Facebook. And if you like videos like this, you want to get updates on more hacks and tips for social media, for blogging and branding, please hit that subscribe button here on YouTube so that you will get notified every time I have a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.